If you want to start selling digital products on Etsy in 2023, this is the video for you. Gone are the days where you can put up some motivational wall art or some generic day planners and just expect the sales to start flooding in. Since there's more competition, it's very important to start niching down and find those less competitive but in-demand niches and products. One of my favorite things to do is to sit down and scroll on Etsy looking for new product ideas. And so I'm going to share with you my top niche ideas for beginner shops that I think will actually get you some sales. Before we hop over onto my computer, let's make a deal. If I show you a product idea or a niche you've never thought of, you have to like this video and sub to the channel. All right, let's go. The first thing up are order form templates for business owners. There are under 9,000 search results, so it's really not too competitive. You can do general order forms or you can do more specific ones for like t-shirts or tumblers. You can also do like invoice templates, order trackers, like definitely look through shops and get even more product ideas. Right here I see hoodie order forms and you can design these on Canva and just give the customers instructions on how to edit just in case they've never used Canva before. Next, we have Excel templates. I have no idea how to make any of these myself, and I really wish I did because they are so cool and they're not very competitive. Small business templates for bookkeeping and inventory tracking are really popular right now, but there's so much more you can do with Excel. I found this shop and she gives a lot of great ideas of where you can take this. You can use Excel to do travel planners or meal planners, sinking fund trackers. So as you can see, a lot of her products people have in their carts. This niche is definitely more morbid, but it's not that competitive. And there's also a lot of different products you can make for funerals. So we just started off with an obituary template. You can make prayer cards, funeral prayer cards. You can even do like funeral bookmarks as like kind of keepsakes. So there's a lot of different routes you can take with the funeral niche. If the funeral niche is not for you, you can do itinerary templates. These digital itinerary templates especially are becoming more popular. You don't have to also just do them for bachelorettes, even though these are, let's see the competition on this. There's about 22,000 search results, so a little bit competitive. I usually try to go for under 20K search results on Etsy. So instead of just doing bachelorette, you can do just a general travel itinerary. You could do an itinerary for a specific city, a getaway weekend, a girl's trip itinerary, a birthday trip itinerary. There's just so many different ways you can... Um, customize these. Next up are digital invitations. When you search it on Etsy, it yields almost 800,000 search results. So it's definitely important to go after targeted keywords. You would definitely want to be niching down and designing for specific parties like surprise party invitation, 40th birthday party invitation, things like that. Let's take a look at this shop for some more examples. So some good ideas, death to my youth birthday party, 40th birthday party, twin boys birthday or baby shower, 70th birthday. So yeah, you definitely want to be designing for specific parties or for specific themes. Next up, we have coupon books. I think this product is super cute, super adorable. Less than 3,000 search results, so very little competition. Love that. You can make these for birthdays, for couples, Valentine's Day. You can make them for kids, make them for moms. There's so many different types of coupon books you can make. And I definitely would recommend making them editable in Canva or with a different software. Kind of similar to the coupon templates, you can also make these voucher templates. So people give these to others when they're giving them a gift or taking them to a concert or taking them on a surprise trip. These are also very popular during Christmas time. As you can see, there are still some bestsellers, some popular nows, and only 15,000 search results, so really not too competitive. This next niche is not for the faint of heart, so I'm just warning you, but I found it when I was doing the research for this video, and I was just speechless. I think this really just shows that things you might not even think of to sell on Etsy, sell on Etsy. So we have reached the BDSM side of Etsy. As you can see, a lot of people have these products in their cart. So if you're into this kind of stuff or you want to get into this kind of stuff and you want to make some products about it, definitely give it a try. 
And even if you're not into BDSM exactly, you can still make products for couples. So like this kinky truth or dare or foreplay cards or the dirty drinking game, those are all great ideas that you can just make for regular non-BDSM couples. Next up is my favorite niche, party games. I definitely want to say if you're going into this niche, you might want to avoid the baby shower, bridal shower games in the beginning because as you can see, the bundles for like baby shower and bridal showers are insane. 60 to 100 games in a bundle is ridiculous. Like when you're first starting out, it's going to take you forever to make all of those games. So you want to be making for more specific parties because they will have less competition. So for instance, you might want to make some house party games or some slumber party games, dinner party games. Those are all great ideas of less competitive events you can design for. Quick little plug, if you want to start selling party games and you want to scale your shop up faster, come over to zaneplr.com and get these commercial use party games. You can edit these on Canva, change up the fonts, colors, make them your own and get them up in your Etsy shop fast. Now back to our scheduled programming. Next up are soap labels. You can make these in Canva, really not too competitive under 2000 search results. I will say a lot of these mock-ups are really nice, so make sure that your listing photos look as good as these do. And kind of similar to soap labels, you can also do candle labels. Again, really not too competitive, less than 5,000 search results on Etsy right now. So there's a lot of space for a new shop to come in and add more value to this market. I saved the most colorful niche idea for last. So we have these kids printables. In particular, this allowance tracker has very little competition. And you can't say that these are not so cute. They're so pretty. I love pretty printables. We have allowance trackers. You can look at bundles to get even more ideas. So I see chore charts, a responsibility chart. You could do a family chore chart. So many different ideas. I even saw like fake money mom bucks that kids will get when they do their chores. So I would definitely check this niche out. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end. I hope you got some value out of this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you learned something new. If you're super serious about starting your own profitable Etsy shop in 2023 selling printables, be sure to check out my Extra Income with Printables course. It teaches you everything that I did to take my shop from zero to over $100,000 in revenue in these last two years. So if you want to replicate that success, it's linked down below. I'll see you next time.